Continuing our series now, San Antonio Restaurant Week, as you know, goes through January 27th, and it has neighborhood eats on a taste test frenzy. This morning, Marvin heads to the Pearl for a $15 lunch. The neighborhood eats tour for Restaurant Week continues. Our next stop, the Boiler House. Five years ago, this space at the historic Pearl got a new lease on life. Built in the late 1800s, this is where things really got hot. It was originally the boiler house for the Pearl. It was the right here with the grapes. They boiled all the uh, all the water for the hops in the, in the brewery right next door. The boiler house kept its name, but reconfigured its mission. It's a restaurant with boundless cuisine. They call it Texas Global. It's eclectic, yet at the same time, it's very uh, welcoming. Um, some of the food is very stick to your ribs. Some of the food is very light. Uh, it is it's just familiar food, but at the same time, you know, we, we, we do octopus and bison ribeyes and, and, and stuffed quail. Neighborhood Eats was brimming for a taste of their special menu for San Antonio's restaurant week. Chef Jeff White started us off with espresso braised pork roast, a top of mushrooms, sweet potatoes, lard, and grilled chipotle. Fantastical. Next up, a buttermilk biscuit stuffed with ham, arugula, sorghum butter, and a lather of orange marmalade. Mm. Ooh. Everybody who loves a biscuit say yes. Yes! How about a smoked tomato bisque with a sprig of deal? Oh, this is for the fact, though. This is so good. Served with a portobello grilled cheese sandwich with three cheeses. Okay, Rico. They tried to sneak me with the dessert. I got you. Sliding in this lemon chest pie. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stop myself. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to check back with me tomorrow. Send it to the end. If you have a recommendation for us, all you have to do is hit us up on our Kins 5 Facebook page or send me a tweet. Just don't forget to hashtag it as Kins 5. <laughs>